So this is our first viewing of uh, Lunacy. What is what will be Lunacy 2 in the very short near future, as soon as we can change the name on the back. This was our first viewing of the boat, and, and it was done in a Zoom session. So I've done some heavy editing. There were a lot of faces jumping in and out as people t of the session, as people talked. Right, right here, right in that spot where he's sticking his feet in the picture. He was trying to show us how, put things into perspective so we could see how wide the, the space was. Now he's showing us that uh, you can walk up and down the bul bulwarks and, and demonstrating the amount of space and the level that the that the handrail is hitting on the knee to keep you stable we have a beautiful pad up on the front and and a beautiful uh, enclosure right here um he's he's showing us the windlass and there's a pedal here for going up and down on the windlass so that we so it'll drop and raise on its own which is really cool and there's just a huge anchor locker up here and it's a hundred percent chain on the uh on the anchor not not part part rope different people have different ideas on how good that is or isn't but i'm happy with it So up above there, well, you'll see in a second, there's hooks on the top of the enclosure. And apparently that was put there for the sake of, of hanging fishing poles. We're going to get rid of them. Diane says that's the first thing we change. <laughs> Engine room is accessible right here. It's also, there's a bigger door inside the boat. That's the generator we're looking at. And there's two uh, great big Caterpillar diesels in there. I was lucky enough to get to drive it for a while uh, when we took it out on sea trials. It really, it, it really was a wonderful ride. Okay, I'm going to spare you. I'll see if I can get you a good look into the engine room, but... I'm going to spare you the whole tour of the engine room. Maybe, maybe, that's a wind, that's a, a dripless, dripless, I believe it's called. Uh, there's four batteries, so we'll be able to survive on batteries for quite a while. And come on, let's, I'm hoping he'll turn the camera towards the diesels so you can see the big engines in there. But I think, uh, I think we'll move on. We've jumped up to the bridge and there's three captain's chairs. We're probably going to pull the one to the far right out just to give ourselves some extra space up there. There's a Garmin chart plotter. There's a uh, depth sounder and speed gauge. And there is a Simred chart plotter as well. The Garmin's really a, a chart plotter fish finder or GPS fish finder. There's the tachometer here. We're going to replace. We're going to put in a new one. As a matter of fact, we're replacing both of them. You can see that they're not at zero. Um, they're also, they're out, the hour meter on the one on the right is a little screwed up, so we're replacing that. Have that done in a week or so. Here the broker is showing us the uh, Garmin a little bit. You can see the chart plotter. It's kind of neat. This is how we'll know where we are. Now he's showing the uh, fish finder. I think that uh, we'll probably use the Simrad a lot more often. We're also going to put a, a tablet with uh, Navionic software on it that'll help us to plot courses uh, when we're out in the open. Uh, you don't need a car. We're not going to need a course if we're in the Erie Canal because there's only one way to go, or there's two ways to go, but if you get lost, then why are you kind of ridiculous but when you're out in the open like this is a the boat right now is in cape may new jersey 
and we're going to have to get it back to New York City and up into the Erie Canal system. And of course, we've never driven out in the ocean, and that's about a uh, that's about a four or six hour drive through the ocean. So uh, we're going to need all the navigation aids we can get. Here, he's he's just giving us a quick review of of what the the bridge looks like. There's this wonderful table sitting right behind with plenty of space, and the table drops down into a bed or sun sunbathing bed. If if you like, and with the cover on, there's not gonna be a lot of sunbathing. It's a wonderful sound uh, system on board. You can see the speakers out behind the canvas um, mounted to the radar arch. Diane didn't notice those huge speakers sitting on deck. Those are huge speakers there. I don't think we're... I like my music loud, but I have a feeling that's going to be more than I can handle. <laughs> He's showing us the, uh, the swim platform. Let me jump forward to the interior. Here we are in the salon, and it's just all kinds of wonderful space. Right here, he's showing us the extra bed. So he didn't pull the table out, so it didn't come out all the way, but that whole uh, table comes out. That whole bench comes out into a, uh, a bed, and we've got a great stereo. We've, uh, there's a bunch of speakers that still need to be connected. I'm not sure why they're not connected. We'll get to that. And he's showing us here. Uh, there's cool lights. That they turn on once with one switch, and they turn on blue with two. Showing us the uh, the curtains so that uh, we can make the space private if we want. Of course, we got another couch and big, beautiful, big screen TV. I'm not really sure how big that is. And our dinette over here. I think he's going to show us this drawer. That's uh, we're not sure exactly what that was intended to be, but it looks an awful lot like a liquor closet to us. So that's. Uh, probably gonna have keep our booze in there. I don't know. And he's uh, showing us nice curved corners on the wood. It's really beautiful. And over here, uh, we've got some storage above the, uh, alongside the fridge. Got plenty of storage in the kitchen. Storage everywhere. And we've got uh, this is a cool feature I've never seen before. It we have got a blender built into our countertop so yes we can uh, make our blended drinks and diane will be making new blended drinks we're gonna have a blast built-in coffee maker um i think right here he's just showing us the uh the windscreen and and then we jump over here to the pantry it jumps around a little bit in the video just because uh like i said it was this this is our, our guest room it jumps around because uh, we didn't have, this was a Zoom meeting, you know, and I had to cut clips out in order to get it to work. Uh, we've got a nice hanging locker in the guest room, and this bench seat conceals our uh, central vacuum cleaner. And now the guest bathroom. Nice big shower on the right here. I think we're going to be, uh, we might, it's our expectation that we're going to try to put a washer, clothes washer in there. And here's our mat, the master suite. <laughs> With blue lights again. Uh, got our own television in there. And there's a, there's a storage compartment behind the television. And then a big hanging locker in here. And, oh, and it's a cool, it's a cool overhead light because we can pull a screen back and open that up so bugs can't get in. We can also pull a uh, screen over and just close it so uh, you, nobody's uh, able to see in the boat. And there's a big, uh, big hanging locker here and really deep. So we can store some stuff there on the floor bottom if we like. 
There he is, <laughs> showing us our cool blue lights. And we've got drawers underneath the bed, and it's got its own separate air conditioning in this room, so it's always usually comfortable. And there is the uh, the main bathroom for the master suite. Pretty awesome. I think this is about wrapping it up. I think he heads out the door at this point. And so he's going to go out the... So I, I thank you for watching. I hope you love the boat. We love the boat. Uh, welcome to uh, Lunacy 2. Uh, thanks for watching.